What's up, Technology family? Welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. And today we have a couple of updates in regards to like the, all the theme parks in Orlando. With our event, let's just straight into it. As you know, Disney, Universal, and all the other theme parks has closed since, since the pandemic started. Well, on Tuesday, the governor of Orange County and in, in Orlando officially had their meeting. And discuss with stretches and rules in regards to like uh, discussing a plan and phrases in regards to, to opening up the, uh, the, the small and large theme parks such as Disney, Universal, Fun Spot, Icon, Gatorland, and Top Golf. So, I'm a, uh, someone took a screenshot of the uh, uh, of the guidelines and restrictions of when they had that meeting. It was kind of a little blurry at first, but thank God I, I found some, a, a little more clearer into uh, what the restrictions and guidelines are going to be. So I'm going to read up up hand uh, what they uh, uh, what their task force as regards to get uh, uh, getting uh, uh, the, all the theme parks uh, uh, theaters uh, uh, theme parks uh, open, and this is their draft uh, uh, as follows. So. These are the mandates that, as regards to like uh, going into uh, into theme parks, not only for the guests and also employees as well. So after that, let's get right into the as it says mandates. All employees are required to wear face masks, touchless hand sanitizers at each ticket entry and turn slides, touchless hand sanitizers at each ride and attraction entry and exit, temperatures checked for staff and prior to shift, temperatures above a. Uh, 100.4 must not enter the premises. All employees with flu like symptoms are advised to stay home. Wipe down all railings and surface that you, you after every use. And then for the last one, and when it comes to the phases, 50% of uh, uh, captivity must uh, go inside the theater. And then for the next phase of phase two, 75% uh, of captivity can go uh, inside, inside the park. Now, reading through uh, through these guidelines, that the face mask, I can understand that that they might put that for not only for employees but for uh, guests as well. Hand sanitizers, they kind of used that be like before the whole um, that pain never started, and then when they closed down here, I can understand that part. Temperatures, uh, uh, that kind of affects on uh, how the weather is and occurring the season. So summer can be kind of hot. I can understand that part of when it be 100 degrees. So I can understand that part. So, and if uh, employees with flu symptoms, and this might apply to like to guests too. If like if you're feeling sick too, don't be advised to, to go in the park anywhere. And as far as write me down all the railings is going, that's going to be a little hard to, to, to task because people be touching stuff and they got and they got to wipe that every time. So. That's gonna be a little tough to task a bit for, and also when it comes to like being six six, six feet apart and like all this stuff, it still feels like a little crowd, even though it, uh, it's not gonna be that much. But it still kind of feels like being at a um, at a large theme park and you have all these people around. It's it's gonna be tough for how you getting signs of fifty feet apart. Like that, it could work like, as far as like waiting in line for a ride and attraction. But as far as walking around the, uh, the, the around the theme parts and everything, that's going to be a little uh, tough a tough task to follow. But other than that, there's a, here's another um, a guideline restrictions that I read off of. So here's one. So yeah, another guideline: tape marketing of six feet apart in right air attractions or grim. Staff to regularly wipe down the surface at, at random. Staff who are 65 uh, and older. Or encouraged to stay home. So, with all these guidelines, we're gonna have to see uh, what's gonna happen in regards to like trying to do a safe opening. And as far as the safe opening, the rumors occur they would try to open either in May, June, August, or September. I highly doubt they're gonna open in May, June, maybe, and August is and August and September. Between August and September is highly likely. But we're gonna to have to see the, the what what's gonna happen and before I said when we get closer get closer to May and and June um, uh, I would say we're, we're almost about to be in May. I would have to say June when we get close to June that would really make more sense. But other than that, that's gonna do it for today. Um what do you guys think on these uh, uh restrictions and um 
and reopening Fade's plan as far as I open the, the, the theme parks in Orlando. Uh, leave your comments there down down below. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for new episodes are uploaded. And other than that, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.